Uh, so this is like a this is like a unnecessary video in the sense that there's not a whole lot of content in it that's new. But I did want to highlight uh, and point some folks over who may follow the RSS feed of the website and YouTube channel, but not follow me on Twitter. The fact that last week uh, I had a guest post uh, on the Seedbed blog, which is really uh, an amazing uh, website and resource for those who are involved in uh, church work. And the article that I wrote for them uh, on spec and by request uh, was called uh, Five Ways to Open Parentheses, Miss, Close Parentheses, Use the Art and artists in your church. Uh, so five ways to misuse artists and arts in, in church. And it's a kind of blog take on the ways in which we are not always well suited at, in our congregations to creative uh, edge thinkers and communicators and it articulates some of the ways in which uh, I feel like we're often uh, deficient in regards to um, being a welcoming and hospitable place for those whose thinking and means of expressing their thinking are, are not uh, straight down the middle. Um, and that's not to say they're, they're always going to be liberal or progressive or conservative or kind of mainline or evangelical or, or anything. I'm really wanting to talk about the fact that artistic sensibilities of whatever stripe are not always the most welcome in um, our sanctuaries, in our churches and in our congregations, and want to start a conversation around why that might be and how we might change that, or, or maybe if there's something we want to change. So uh, head over there to Seedbed and check it out. I'll put the link on theimageoffish.com, the blog post that will go up associated to this. So go check it out and um, keep track of Seabed. Some cool stuff happening there. And uh, I'll be doing some additional work focusing on creativity in the arts uh, as well as continued work with aesthetics in the weeks and months to come. So uh, catch you later.